Many buildings leave their lights on all day, which is bad for the cost of electricity. A simple answer is provided by the sunflower system. It directs light into the spaces that require it. It may therefore replace up to 60 lights, each consuming 60 watts. Information claims that sunflower not only brightens areas but also lessens headaches and eye strain brought on by daylight bulbs. Assume that you are preparing to construct an electric bicycle. To whom do you go for assistance? Mika Hekkinen was chosen by Verge Motorcycles, which makes sense given that he has been a member of their advisory board since the previous year. The two-time Formula One winner helped engineers create this masterpiece. The limited edition bike is particularly notable for its powerful torque of 1000 nanometer. It can attain a top speed of about 200 km per hour and can go from 0 to 100 km in under 3.5 seconds. Better yet, it requires only one charge to travel 350 km. Only 100 of these bikes, each with a plaque bearing Haken and signature, will be produced by the firm. The starting price is $87,800, the Onikas. The plant operates remarkably quickly, desalting 53,000 liters of water every day. Additionally, a form that is 10 times as potent has been reported. The plant uses solar and wave energy to power pipelines that carry clean water to the shore. With a lifespan of roughly 20 years, the platform is constructed from recycled materials, including plastic bottles. This becomes more important in light of UNICEF's prediction that around 50% of the world's population will experience water scarcity in the upcoming year. Have you seen the shelves of supermarkets carrying Barilla pasta? It comes from one of the biggest pasta manufacturers in the world. Additionally, they support reducing the use of fossil fuels. The setup of one of Barilla's Italian facilities is quite intriguing. Heat energy is accumulated in certain locations when sunlight is focused onto a single point by about 500 rotating mirrors, tanks with a maximum temperature tolerance of 1000 degrees Celsius. This energy has a wide range of possible applications, including the production of steam, heating buildings, and drying pasta. Although it's still only a pilot initiative, we hope to see widespread acceptance in the near future. The United States' first fully automated restaurant, featuring artificial intelligence, made its debut by the end of 2023. It's your average fast food restaurant with fries and burgers. However, guests can enjoy the meal as well as the cooking process here. There are reports that the patties virtually melt in your mouth since the beef is ground after orders are received. Using biometrics to purchase food is another technological innovation. Since robots don't trip and spill oil, the architects of this autonomous eatery are certain that it generates less waste. However, the inventive restaurant is situated next to a conventional one so that anyone may address any problems, just in case. Wheelchairs are Jelani Engineering's specialty and they have an update dubbed the MTZ02 that essentially makes them into trikes. You can go up to 50 kilometers on a single charge for 3,290. The majority of manual wheelchairs can use the MTZ02 because of its simple installation. It has an integrated LCD screen that shows all pertinent info and has sophisticated cruise control and a reversing option. Because of its folding handlebar, the MTZ02 keeps out of the way of the legs and folds neatly within the vehicle. In 26 years, the demand for maritime freight transportation is expected to expand thrice, according to UN experts. In the EU, more than 300 ports are considered vital. It won't be good news if problems occur as a result of the increased load. Fortunately, DLR provides a clever KAI mechanism as a solution. It records information on tides, winds, currents, and other phenomena, and may facilitate mooring. 
The exact distances to the mooring wall are provided by SmartKai, accurate to the closest centimeter. Data transmission to ships is delayed by less than one second. The German port of Cuxhaven has successfully tested the system. Furthermore, future plans include for modifying it to accommodate a larger user population. String bike. Instead of a chain, it features elastic strings that wind on the pulleys when pedaling and unwind from them. These strings are quieter and won't stain your clothes with grease like a chain. The bike has 19 speeds which can be switched on the go, just like with a regular bike. The replacement strings are affordable, costing only a couple of dollars, and they outlast chains. String bite comes in various versions, with a carbon or aluminium frame, starting from $1,100. A new product is under development, but it's not intended for everyone. It is intended only for the US Air Force. It seems like a good angle. A look at Air One, an electric plane that can land and take off vertically. With its current configuration, it can carry a 250 kilogram payload and fly for up to an hour on a single charge. With a top speed of 250 km per hour, it's no slow operator either. Air One has garnered interest from private customers and will be useful for a variety of logistical chores. The authors have already mentioned almost 800 pre-orders. To understand how good it is, think about this. In about 41 minutes, it can travel from Canadian Victoria to Vancouver. Introducing eSight a fairly special set of glasses made for people with severe vision problems. Even for those with as good of vision as a baby, it's a game changer. This is how they function. A fast moving camera records the environment and sophisticated algorithms modify the film to suit each individual's unique visual characteristics. For example, eSight can easily enlarge the image by 14 times. OLED screens display the outcome, which greatly improves the comfort of routine activities like reading and watching TV. The cost of the eSight 4 model is around 8800 Toyota Corporation and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency have been working together on the lunar cruiser since 2019. Given that the lunar cruiser is meant for the moon rather than Earth, the task is far from easy. There are challenges in the lunar environment. Extreme cold with overnight temperatures plummeting to 100 degrees Celsius. In addition to radiation, a vacuum, and low gravity. Despite facing numerous obstacles, Japanese engineers are not giving up. They had already shown off this prototype with two seats. The Japanese researchers, it is said, have greater ideas. They imagine a house on wheels that would be a helpful complement to the hydrogen fuel production plant. Japan intends to build on the moon by 2035. Space Perspective is exploring stratospheric flight in the meantime. They intend to use a capsule to transport up to nine passengers to an altitude of about 30 kilometers. Travelers experience the comforts of home while taking in the vistas from the uppermost layer of the Earth's atmosphere. The capsule has a bar, restrooms, and panoramic windows. The internet connection allows you to even share images taken at high altitude while in flight. For those who are interested in unique tourism, the total trip takes roughly six hours, including two hours spent in the stratosphere. The first manned flight is scheduled for this year, if all goes according to plan. The aim of the creators is to sell tickets for $125,000 each. By 2050, over one-third of the world's population is expected to reside in rural areas according to UN estimates. It's big and calm outside the city, yet transportation is still difficult. In many situations, living without a personal vehicle might be inconvenient. The Monocab All Project's designers provide a fix. They propose reconsidering the use of capsules for train transportation in rural areas. You may summon these capsules with an app, just like you would a cab. There are passenger and freight models in the project. The irregular version can hold six passengers. 
The project has been funded by an EU program and is presently being tested in Germany. What happens when an action camera and a dive mask are combined? That's exactly what Liquid Image accomplished. And the outcome is this action mask. Up to 40 meters below the surface is where the HD 720 Pixel can record videos and take pictures. AAA batteries are needed to power it. Four of them yielded 2,000 images or two hours of video. A large screen will display your film crisply thanks to the 720 Pixel format. It comes with all the connectors you need to connect it straight to a TV without a computer. For $135, it's not a bad set of features. Take a virtual reality dive with the new shoes from EctoVR. Don't be duped by appearances. According to EctoVR, these shoes can help you avoid motion sickness, disorientation, and collisions with walls in addition to enabling you to walk across virtual environments. The secret is in the wheels embedded in the soles, which let you move around in the virtual world while remaining still in the physical one. The team advises applying and waiting for updates if you want to be included in this. Check out the Prime X Haptic VR gloves if you like fancy gear. They include improved haptic connectivity and allow you to manipulate virtual items. Perhaps because these gloves can be customized in 45 seconds and last for 5 hours on a single charge, Tesla even used them to train its robots. The cost for a pair is about $4,450.